I was talking to my buddy Dan, Flounder Pounder 69. I know it's a crazy name. And while we were talking on the phone, his rod went off. He's fishing on the beach right now. So I'm on my way to go give him a hand. He thinks it's a giant shark, guys. So hopefully he lands it. And uh, it was the craziest thing ever. The conditions, northeast wind, it's dirty water, my bro. It's guaranteed. On the phone, I'm telling him, guaranteed. Like a minute, two minutes later, he gets hooked up. It's crazy. Dan, the hey, what's man, up, man? Flounder Pounder 69. We meet again. We meet and again. hooked up to something right here. Yeah, it's a big hammer. It's a big hammerhead? Yeah, we've been on it for about 15 minutes now. Uh, it was like about a 100 yard drop. 100 yard drop? Yeah, he probably went about 300 yards out. Took like a 300 yard run? Yeah. Look at that, man. The man, he even got his own rod. He's so famous. <laughs> Flounder Pounder 69. Oh, we got a bad line right there, guys. We got the bad line. How bad is it? It's bad. It's, bad. it's really bad. Back your drag down. I want to get that number real. Yeah, but it could pop any second. Dude, I, if I get that in the reel, I can lock it down. He, it's not going to take an inch. Tippers, man. Always ruining your day. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running. I'm going to call this fish between 12, 6, and 13. Dude, he's going, bro. Hey, what did I tell you? Was it, did I tell you it was guaranteed? <laughs> I was literally on the phone with Josh. He's like, it's guaranteed. And I was like, Josh, sorry, I got to go. I got a fish on. Oh, here it comes. It's coming in. The bird's coming in. There it is. Keep coming. Get it on that reel, where dude. It? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it on the reel? It's on. It's on. It's on? Yeah. All right. We got the bad line on. What do you think that was? A black tip? Probably. Good. What's your reel? What's wrong with your reel right now? Dude, this is the hammer slaying reel. All I hear is a lot of rubbing, bro. Yeah. Like if reel you guys knew here. what this reel went through last night, you wouldn't judge. Oh, my this yard Who hooked run. it? Who hooked it? He did. You did? Yeah. yeah. Right, how did that feel? Dude. That was ridiculous. That fish were you, pulled. Were you scared? Oh, we were yeah. we were going to get spooled. This is what I was thinking. Yeah, all right, so make sure that you're all, you guys are always hold on to your partner. We need a spotter like Mark right here when you're finding these fish. Safety first, guys. I have gone in the water before. It's a story for another time. You, you've been pulled in the water before? I have been pulled in the water How before. How did that feel? It was not good. Were you a little scared? I was terrified. I thought I had met my maker. You know, what kind of fish was it? It was a nine-foot bull shark that snuck up on me. Well, I was reeling my bait in. Uh-oh. Once you lose balance in a span up harness, it's very hard to regain it back, especially if the fish is going fast. For a record, this reel got spooled last night. <laughs> yep. That's why it sounds so terrible. Yeah. How hot did it get? It got burning hot. Like, you touched third degree burn hot? It was a straight thousand yard run at like Mach 5. We, we were so scared. <laughs> we, we turned the fish at 100 yards of drag left, or 100 yards of line left. And then it broke you off. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. He wants to run. Woo! Do you want me to leader it? You tear rope band, or what do you want to do? Huh? Whatever you guys want to do. Oh. He ain't having that sandbar though. Oh man. Don't let him. That's why we use 200 pound mono, guys. When you hit sandbars, it's actually 250. You're saving grace. 250 LP. 250 or bust, man. You're gonna have to change all your line after this fish. We just changed. We it just changed it this morning. Yeah. Brand new line, guys. Here's the biggest, the biggest secret to catching giant fish is changing your line after every fish you hook. Having fresh line is the key to landing giant sharks on the beach. The people that really shark fish hard, every, they know you hook a big fish, everything's gotta be 100%. That fish, that you know, thousand pound fish, it'll find the weakest link and just like that. 100%. All right, we got them over the bar I think now. Here we go, we got him, we got him. He's yours now, dude. He's in, he's coming in now. Get one more sandbar to go, though. That's a really bad sandbar right there. Woo! Riding that wave. I got like a 40 foot leader. 40 foot yeah. leader? Oh, it's not IGFA legal. All right. There he is, there he is. There he is. That's a big fish. Big fish. That, Josh, that's over 12. Over 12? Yeah. Yeah, that's a big boy. You see that, 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 that's, that's that's big you'll see it. Right He's right on, right on the crashing wave. wave. Got it. Got it. He, it's over. He's gone. You can walk down the road. Oh, there, there it is. is. There he is. Grab the leader. Grab the leader. There it is. Got the leader? All right, all right. 
Pull him up, pull him up. It's got to be real fast. Oh, come on, both of you pull back on him. Up, dude, come on. Mark. Got him. Come on, come on. Get, get, get the cutters. Get, get the rope up. Get the rope up. Get the rope up. Get the rope up and get, get him back in the water. Get him out farther. Turn him, yeah, there you go, he's going. Push him. He got him. We got him. Easy. What was it like being in the water with that big hammerhead? It was amazing. We had to we had to pull really hard to get that fish through the surf. We took we took a beating, but we got it deep enough water and got it to swim. That's all that matters, man. The fish lives, right? You you'll take a beating for a fish, right? Always. Yeah, I think he hit 13 even or something. I'm not sure. We have haven't checked the footage yet. Appreciate Josh for being out here and helping a lot. It was a uh, big help, dude. Really appreciate that. Uh, we fought that fish for about 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, landed it perfect. Got a good safe release swam straight. We saw him sw still swimming on the surface about 100 yards out for five to 10 minutes. So we know he lived. That's some gnarly shark burn right oh, there. Worst you ever got? That, that's by far the worst. The worst I've ever seen. What do you think, Dan? Yeah, I, got shark I, uh, I really, I just started fishing with Mark and uh, he's proven himself worthy. After we released the hammerhead, I headed back to the office to finish editing. The next day, Dan gives me a call and Mark is hooked up to another giant. Right, I can see seven right now. Where? Right in the surf. Cutting left. What? What's up? What do you got, man? We got a nice got size hammerhead hammer right here. Charlie! I'm running right now. I'm gonna get all the tools so we can dehook the shark immediately and get it back really safe in the water. Where's the where's the stuff at? Clear tub. Clear tub? Alright, we got the stuff right here. That's 12, man. That's 12 foot all day long. Hey, can you give me a tail rope? We gotta get him in the back of the water really fast, all right? All right, we got him. Yeah. See, that's 12 plus, man. That's over 12. We gotta get him back in the water really fast, guys. Really fast. Get the cutters, get the cutters. There it is, I see it, I see the loop, I see the loop. Grab it, got it. Got it, Dan? Yeah, I got it. Got a cut, got a cut. Cut. Let him go, let him go, let him go. No, really He's gonna swim off real good. There he goes, there he goes. There he goes, baby. What? Giant, bro, giant. Dude. Is that the that, biggest fish of your life? That was, that, that crushes my 9-6 my tiger. Dude, that's, that's a giant, bro. That probably weighed about 500 pounds. That, that, that was, uh, a giant fish. How long did it fight for? Oh, it, it was a pretty short fight, about 25 minutes. That's not bad, man. You guys land him heavy drag. Heavy drag. Heavy drag, get him in as fast as possible and release him as fast as possible. That's the goal, right? That's the way to do it, as long as the fish lives. What's up, Josh? What do you think of that fish, Dan? That was a 20 minute fight, 12, 12 7 hammer. That's uh, how you fight big fish, right? Heavy drag? Yeah, I got a, a 13 footer yesterday. Mark just got the 12 7 right now. You guys are crushing it. It's been a good two days. You guys are like the hammer kings. Once we set hook, we how knew big it was, was the, How big was the first run? Um, 100 yards? Dude, maybe not even that. Yeah, he was running north. He wasn't running. But, he, he was, but, but was there a multiple runs or was it just one run? There, there was a couple. Yeah, a couple, a couple little runs. runs. Yeah. We don't play games with little fish. No, man. You got to get the big fish in fast and get them back in fast. Yeah, that's the only way to keep them alive, you know? Yeah. Can't fight these fish for, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. No way. It's not going to survive. It was such a privilege to be there and to see these giant fish caught and released. The most important thing was they both swam away and they were healthy and they survived. 
That's the most important thing. And to do that, you gotta use heavy tackle and reduce your fight time. It's so important. These sharks cannot handle a lot of stress. I don't recommend using any reel smaller than a 130 to catch the size of the sharks you saw in this video. And any reel that cannot output more than 60 pounds of drag is not worth using. Always use circle hooks to prevent the shark from being gut hooked. Use only one hook, guys. Big sharks have no problem eating large baits, and multiple hooks can kill them. Always change the mono top shot after every big fish. The mono gets stretched, it fractures, and it's no longer good. To reduce the fight time, use the maximum drag that your body weight can support. Always have a spotter, and never use drag that you're not comfortable with. When it comes to the release, you gotta have all your release tools in one bucket. You wanna have a pair of bolt cutters, you wanna have wire or cable cutters, and you wanna have a tail rope. You don't wanna be running up and down the beach looking for these things. You wanna have everything ready to go so you can get that fish back in the water as fast as possible. Hammerheads will fight literally harder than any other shark. They will completely exhaust themselves. So that's why it's super important to reduce your fight time and your release time as much as possible. Don't remove the fish completely from the water. Don't waste any time taking the hook out. Just cut the leader as close to the hook as possible. You don't want to cut your main line and leave the fish with that giant leader. That can get caught on rocks or reef or whatever and the fish can drown. Just cut it as close to the hook as possible and release the fish as fast as possible. And if the fish needs help getting past the waves, do it. But also remember this, no fish is worth dying over. You always want to put your safety first. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.